referred to, but if you have access to OneNote, we're on the icon left hand side, OneNote presentation, 1510 uniform distribution dice tab. We've also been uploading transcripts to OneNote so that you can go into the view tab, immersive reader tool, change the language if you so choose, being able to either read or listen to the transcript in multiple different languages using the timestamps to tie in to the video presentations. OneNote desktop version here. In prior presentations, we've thought about how we can represent and describe different data sets, both mathematically using calculations such as the average, the mean, the median, the quartiles, and so on, and pictorially using box and whiskers as well as histograms. The histograms often being what we visualize when we're thinking about the distribution of the data and then using terms to describe the distribution of the data in the histogram, such as skewed to the right, skewed to the left, and so on. What we would like to think about now is the families of curves and formulas that we can put together that can often uh, characterize certain data sets. And if we can do that, if we can represent a data set with some kind of curve, some kind of formula, it gives us more predictive power uh, over that data set. So that's kind of the goal that we would like to have if we can say, hey, this data set looks like it can be characterized at least approximately with some kind of line or some kind of curve that we have a formula for, that would be a useful tool to have. Now, the first one that we're gonna look at, the first family of curves will be the uniform distributions. It's gonna be the easiest one because it's basically a straight line. So when we said uniform distributions, you might've imagined that we're gonna kind of distribute out uniforms for the accounting instruction statistics course and you're gonna get a uniform or something. No, we're talking about uh, uniform distribution as a family of, of, uh, of a curve basically representing data, all right? So we're gonna be thinking about dice rolls here to get an idea of what this will look like. So let's say we have a die and the die has six sides to it. And if we were to roll the die a thousand times, and what would be the, the likelihood that any one number, whether that number be a one, two, three, up to six, what's the likelihood that we roll uh, how many ones, or what's the likelihood to roll a one each time, for example? Well, it would be one over six, which would be the 16.66 on and on. So if I rolled it a thousand times, what would be basically the expected uh, value that you would have for any one number? It would be this times 1,000, right? Times a thousand. So you would expect there'd be 166.66 and so on of each individual number of one through six. That would be kind of our visualized outcome in our mind. Now note, that this visualized outcome is just a model. We're just, we're coming up with a model that hopefully provides us some predictive power, but of course is not perfect in real life, which is clearly described to us by the fact that we have an unwhole number here. So it would be impossible for our predictive model to actually become true because we can't, there's no way that we're gonna get uh, 0.67 of a one that, or a two that we roll, right? We can't roll it 0.67 times. But you can see that the model gives us predictive power uh, over what, what, what the chances are in the future. So if we take then 